young pilots with hopes of one day becoming top guns. Dozens of Navy and Marine pilots have been training since Friday about 100 miles off the coast of San Diego. And Fox 6 News reporter Greg Phillips and photojournalist Brian Keenan were the only television crew allowed aboard the San Diego-based USS Constellation to catch all the action. Exciting. Extremely exciting. A little bit of nervousness. Yeah, we should work on keeping your skin moving. It's like getting in a car crash and losing your virginity all at the same time. It's awesome. Here at Rampula is one of more than 40 Navy and Marine pilots who spent the weekend aiming for the skies off the coast of San Diego. We need two catch and goes and two traps out of you. Rampula and the other pilots are hoping to become fleet aviators, which allows them to fly combat missions. For many, it's a lifelong dream. I wanted to be a uh, Marine aviator since I was, uh, I guess, sixth grade or so. You said I'd say that. Qualifying is no easy task. In order to land the jets, pilots have to hook one of four wires on the deck, traveling at speeds of up to 160 miles an hour. But hooking the first, second, or fourth wire won't get you a high score. The pilots are aiming for that third wire there. If they hook it, that would be considered a perfect landing. If they hit any of the others, it means they were either flying too high or too low. This, this is a small margin for error. No kidding. If you're only two feet high or two feet low, you're going to miss that three wire. So um, it's pretty challenging out there. Roger, ball, 25 knots. Especially at night, when all the pilots have to rely on is a few of the ship's lights and the plane's instruments. Misses are not uncommon. So we miss all those wires. And then there you go, go full power, and you're going to go up around and come and try it again. The five-day mission is a routine one. Every few months, a band of pilots train on a different aircraft carrier. But this time, the feel of the mission has taken on added importance. I think it's safe to say that the events of September 11th have had an effect on everybody, and there's maybe a little greater sense of urgency than what we've seen in the past, and an understanding that's important that we get ready and get qualified pilots out to the war zone as quickly as possible. Some of the students that I've trained in the days uh, are actually out there uh, dropping bombs for the cause of freedom. And it's, uh, it's pretty motivating to know that uh, the students that we teach out here are going to have that opportunity to do that. As for Rampula, he's not dropping bombs yet, but he is on his way to qualifying. Leading the entire pack of pilots with the top score. I'm pretty psyched about it, but... Uh... I don't know, it's kind of surreal, I guess. I can't believe they pay me for doing, you know, what I'm, what I'm doing. So, it's awesome to me. Greg Phillips, Fox 6 News.